be coming up from here in the Civic Arena. Which one is it? Steve Buttle, the player, or Steve Buttle, the coach? John Paul Della Camera had a chance to visit with Steve and his lovely wife, Jan. <laughs> Last October, this ball had a special meaning for Steve Buttle as he entered another preseason training camp for the Pittsburgh Spirit. Later on, this ball took on a more significant meaning when Steve Buttle added the title of assistant coach. There's a slight difference, but I don't think it's, it's uh, suddenly one day you're Steve Buttle, the player, and then suddenly you're the authoritarian coach, you know. Uh, you don't come in there with a heavy hand. I think I'm just trying to be myself. Obviously, there are certain reasons why John picked myself for the job. Uh, he doesn't want me to be anything different than what I was. So, you know, the personality that I had as a player, hopefully, can just carry over to being on the coaching side. Obviously, I knew a little bit before John was going to appoint me, and obviously, I didn't want to say anything, but I thought John handled it really well. Rather than just naming me assistant coach and slinging me in the deep end, he kind of let me feel my way into it and see if I liked the job. Uh, Obviously, he had to see whether I could do the job as well. I've been in professional soccer now for 17 years, you know, since I was 15 years old. So therefore, I think I work well with young, younger players, you know, uh, young Americans that we're going to hopefully bring into the, into the team and who are going to be stars in the future. So I think that's one of my strengths. I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, you know, it's funny that I, never, I was never a player that always was around the offices, you know, I always let, let the people in the office get on with their job. And, but lately, I think I've been in the office more in two weeks than I'd been in three years. The added responsibility of assistant coach meant a different role at home for both Jan Buttle, the housewife, and Jan Buttle, the business lady. Well, he's not a, at home as much, is the first big fact. Um, he's still sticks to the same routine as if he was a player. He still likes you know, quiet on the day of the game and no stress and, uh, you know, that type of thing. He still eats the same as if he was a player. Uh, I had a hobby as um, uh, an engraver. And so it gradually moved on from just being a hobby to where friends wanted me to do things and then friends of friends wanted me to do things and gradually it became a business. I learned it from my father, who was in England, he does it. It's kind of a European craft that's just started up over the last 10 years. I do two types, I hand engrave with like um, a drill and um, I sand engrave with a machine. Um, that is not quite as skilled as the hand engraving, but it's still engraving. Say I was going to hand engrave something, I would draw out a design first on some paper, then from that I would draw it onto the glass. I, you know, I, I have then the artwork to work from on the glass. I then outline on the glass with um, a nib in, uh, that's in the drill the outline of the design. From there it depends on the design but I would maybe take out the glass with a diamond, then maybe rub it back with a, a rubber tip. Eventually I would like it to be a good business, but right now it's still in the home and I still want to keep it of a size that I can cope. And um, so long range, good, but right now just trying to have it of a size that, that I can cope with with maybe a small